How's everybody doing? Good. Y'all have a good day? Good. How about this December 1st weather? Was that not exceptional? And just think of the rest of the week. We don't get too many days like this in December. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you know, next Thursday it's going to be like 22 degrees, Stephanie. What's wrong with 22 degrees? I'm forward. I ain't again. <laughs> I'm with it. I like it. All right, we're going to do some prayer requests tonight, and then Brother Ben is with us. And Ben, our church has fell in love with you. We thank God for you. We just had a meeting about going to Mexico. We're going June 11th through the 18th of next year, and you got to decide whether you're going by January 2nd. So if you have any interest, come see me or Ben right after church. He can lead you through it. They, I found out tonight, and I don't know, this is something that we're probably going to be starting here at White Ash. They have a tambourine dance team. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm serious. I, I think, I mean, I'm going to talk to some people. <laughs> I said, well, you just sold me on going, man. <laughs> a tambourine dance team. That's phenomenal. I know, I know, I'm, I'm like, praise God, we got our youth walking in there, hey youth, good to have you guys tonight, what would you guys think about putting on a tambourine dance team? <laughs> All right, uh, prayer request, I have, I, I sent out several to you today, we, um, we want to remember Larry Kohler in our prayers, him and Carol, um, Larry was diagnosed with COVID. Um, he says he's doing really good, and they actually think he's almost out of it. Um, so praise God for that. But continue to remember him. Remember Carol and your prayers. Um, Beverly, Dave's under the weather pretty bad too. You've worked him too hard. <laughs> so we want to remember Brother Dave in our prayers. Um, also, we want to remember... Um, Susan Hunter had asked us to remember uh, Connie Hunter, um, her mother-in-law. Um, she is um, um, battling COVID as well. So if you could please remember Connie in your prayers. That was uh, Earl Hunter's mama. Um, so we'll lift her up to the Lord. Alan Richard, put him on the prayer chain earlier. Also the Wanda, Wanda Boyd and her family. She's in the process of passing away. Um, CD and Jerry May. CD's in the hospital battling pneumonia. Um, also Jerry just really needs a touch as well. And, um, um, the Rick Parks family. He passed away. So if we can remember that family in our prayers. And, um, I'm remembering these, um, Elaine Crane's uncle, she asked for prayer for him. Um, he's having heart valve surgery tomorrow. What other prayer requests do we have tonight? Lewis? Who? David Cook. Remember Brother David? Lois? Bonnie Gilbert. All righty. Miss Brenda? Unspoken. I'm sure there'll be several of those. Amen? All right, but less? I asked Ben, I said, Ben, when we go to Mexico, how safe will we feel? He's like, well, we don't have anybody running over parades or anything down there. He's like, you'll probably be safer. And I, you guys, you think about that, but you know, there's a lot of truth to that. Um, Victor, remember brother Victor, um, Rachel sent me out a good report on Tammy Castoldi yesterday, um, yesterday. Is she here? Hey, Jasmine, what's up, girl? What was that? Remind me.
Rodney the King. We want to remember um, the Supreme Court heard the oral arguments today on um, the Mississippi abortion case. That's a pretty big deal. That verdict won't come out until like next July, but it certainly needs our prayers. Do you have your hand raised? No? Okay. Yes. Michigan shootings. That's correct. Sharon? Remember Andy Bunting? I, I told her we would pray for her to have a much more peaceful month than she had in November. Lois? Larry and Barbara Colsey. Also, I want you to continue to remember Craig Baumgartner prayers. His heart. All right, well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, we'll go from there. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for life and health and all your many blessings. God, tonight, these requests that we've called out, you know every situation, you know every circumstance. And uh, Lord, I pray, dear God, that you would be with each and every one of them, those who are battling illness, those who have um, had surgeries recently or are about to have them. Pray, dear God, Lord, for your healing touch, whether it be through your divine hand or through doctors and medicines. We pray, dear God, Lord, a healing hand upon them. We pray for those who are battling depression or mental illness. We pray, dear God, you touch them. Pray for those who need to be encouraged tonight. I pray, Lord, that you would encourage them, give them strength. We know that your word says you're a very present time and very present help in time of trouble. God, we thank you, Lord, for your rich grace and mercy that you gave us through your son, Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, for Brother Ben being here with us tonight. I pray, dear Lord, that you would anoint him, continue to bless his ministry in Zacatecas. Pray, dear God, you'd watch over him as he travels home to, homewards tomorrow. And Lord, we're just thankful, God, that he's here to share with us this evening. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing. Be with us now. Pray for the unspoken requests. We pray, dear Lord, for those on our heart that we didn't announce out loud, but you know them. We pray, God, you touch those situations. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we all said, amen. So Ben, come up here for a minute because we're going to do a little something fun before we get started. Right. I okay. like fun. So, All about fun. Listen, on Wednesday nights, I separate the church. All right. I'm a divider. And so this is, no, this, no. <laughs> this is the east side. <laughs> east side, okay. And this is the west side. <laughs> so I want you to pick a team. Okay, um... Okay, so you're on this team. Eric, you're not normally over here. <laughs> so come on up. Is Justin here? Yeah. Where's he at? Come on up, Jay. Hey, we're match even. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, so Eric and Justin, you have this side. Okay. So tonight, these guys are going to represent you. <laughs> Me and Ben are going to represent you all. All right? Give so, it up, give it up. Uh, Miss <laughs> Miss Lee, would you hey. please come up? Do the wave. <laughs> now here's the deal. You're gonna pick two cards out of here, Stephanie. One card will be for these guys. One card will be for us. All right, guys, you get two lifelines. So that means if you guys don't know, you have the option of reaching out to your congregate, your 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 team. And asking for help. Okay? Now, do not yell out the answers. If you guys want to... Don't yell out the answers. All right? So, I don't... I, here, and so, you guys can have first question. I'm going over here so I can stay away. Is this biblical quiz ball? This is really this little. Is, this is straight up Bible trivia. <laughs> Bible, Bible trivia. Okay. Question number one. What was the third sign Moses gave to the Israelite leaders to convince them he had come from God? The third sign. Oh, wow. We got Pastor Randy on our team, so we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> ben, you have a tambourine dance team. No <laughs> <A> life life. <laughs> that's, that's a tough one, man. Tough work hard's easy. Well, that's, yeah, okay. 
Hey, Ben's got to get in Mexico sometime. One of the youth. You know what? Anybody want anybody know this? If you know it, raise your hand. <laughs> if you want to come up here and share the wealth. <laughs> what was the third sign Moses gave to the Israelite leaders to convince them he had come from God? Is it Bible open Bible? No. <laughs> Open Biblia. <laughs> so, is it he stuck his hand in his cloak and it was healed? No. No. Do you guys get a chance or do I say the answer? You say the answer. He changed water to blood from Exodus 4 9. Sharon, where are you at on that? That was the third one. What, what part do you suppose? You know it, Rachel. Right? <laughs> And then, and then the third sign. And then he stuck his hand back in his cloak. So we were debating on whether that... Ah. Was. Is that part of the second getting or is that Getting technical here. Part? Getting technical. Technicality. Hey, uh, in the future, I was just hoping this would be like five minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give, you, I'll give you considerably less time to answer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, wife. <laughs> what did... What did Sarah and Hannah have in common with respect to childbirth? Well, that's they were both infertile. Yeah, they, were both they were both infertile. infertile. We got an easy way. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, fellas. Woo. Just, All right. Just for the record, we got one point. <laughs> what the, was the ancient Israelite manner of legalizing and signifying a property transaction? <laughs> wow. Oh. What? <laughs> what was the ancient Israelite manner of legalizing and signifying a property transaction? Bother me. Wasn't it uh, taking off your shoe? Well, now Wasn't, we know it? That we Wasn't it? Or no? Wasn't it? We're going with our lifeline back here with Dan Johnson because I know it, but I want to make the other poem. You want confirmation? Dan? Huh? You know it? <laughs> Shoe and a hand? Yeah. That's it. Yep. Take off the shoe. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who was Samuel's predecessor as high priest of Israel? Eli. Eli. <laughs> this is an easy one. I picked him randomly. <laughs> Who performed a miracle from a widow's oil? Who performed a miracle from a widow's oil? That's an easy one. Come on. Which one is it? Is it Elijah or is it Elisha? Hey, it's a job. It's a job. Elijah? No. <laughs> It says Elisha, 2 Kings 4. 1 Kings chapter 17. He, 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 Get wrong, Andy. No, no, no. 1 <laughs> Kings 17. In 1 Kings 17, you guys can look it up right now. He was in the, he was in the, he was in the place of Jabez, and the oil and the flour would never disappear. What he said. Are you trying to get him to get it right? I just, no, I mean. That's <laughs> exactly. Um, isn't the, isn't the point? <laughs> Second Kings 4, Elisha helps a poor widow. First Kings chapter 17. And it's Elijah. And it's Elijah. It apparently, they both, apparently they both helped a widow. You're right. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm coming up in the team, but you've got to bring some honesty and integrity to the game. No, just who performed a miracle from a widow's oil. Yep. Okay. One point for the youth leaders. We're giving you guys a point. How many points you got? Two. We're two. We got two. <laughs> okay. In what two books is a symbolic beast with ten horns described? We got Revelation, Revelation and Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. Revelation, Daniel. Yep. 
Correct. Yep. All right. Who was Rachel's father? Oh, let me see. <laughs> I know it. In the Bible, who was Rachel's father? Too late. Er. Yeah. Laban. Very good. So you have three now? Okay. <laughs> Spell Zerubbabel. Is it? Is it? Zerubbabel, yeah, yeah, Zerubbabel, potato, potato. Z O R A B B E L, right? Z O, right? Z O, no? Can you say it yeah. one more time? Spell Zerubbabel. Z A R. Z A R Z A A. Is it two R's or one? It's two R's. R R A B E U L. Is that your final answer? No. <laughs> it's can I can I give yeah. it a winner? It's Z O R uh, Zor. Uh, it's not Zor Z O. It is Z O. Trust me. I'm certain it's not Z O. You're certain. I'm certain. Zara Babel. I mean, you've been out of English like or Zara Babel. <laughs> Z A, Z A, it's definitely Z A R E. Okay, I mean, you can try it, but you're going to be wrong. I think we have a lifeline. We haven't used one yet. Oh, go ahead. Lance is all over this. It's Les. Les is all over this. <laughs> That's correct. Z E R U B B A B E L. That's correct, Les. Yeah, you guys were way off. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Way to go, Lance. We were both way off. <laughs> <laughs> How many basketfuls of food did the disciples pick up after feeding the 5,000? Oh. That's an easy one. That's easy. That's easy. Actually, you know what? That's not easy because there's two different 12. answers. 12. That's correct. What is it? The card says 12. What would be the other answer? Well, they did it twice. I think one time they picked up 12 and one time they picked up 7. This is true when the the 4,000. Oh, the 4,000. Technically. 5,000 is 12. Yeah. 4,000 is 12. It's 4 to 4 currently. We got a chance to take a lead here. Okay. Take a lead. How many talents did the first servant in Jesus' parable end up with at the very end of the parable? 10. He had 5 and then another 5. 10. Yeah. 10. 10? Yeah. Whoa. Slow the truck down. <laughs> Listen to the question. Say it At again. the end? I see. How many talents did the first servant in Jesus' parable end up with at the very end of the parable? Because oh, he gave him his five and gave him another five. So you're saying that he would end up with five at the end instead of ten or zero. Is that what you're trying to say? Because the Lord, he gave him another that five. Mexico because math. Well done, good servant. Set there, set there. Here's another five. But what did he do with them? Did he squander them away or did he go out and create more? He doesn't say. So. You got a lifeline? Does anybody here know that answer? I'm going with, I'm honestly going 10, but. He made five more. Yeah. Less? Roland's got a Well, yeah, yeah. 11? 11 is correct. Really? Because okay. he gave the one from the one that, that's right. Woohoo! Yeah, good call. Yeah, he gave that one. Yeah, that one, the yeah. one, that one that he didn't have. Yeah. The one that said on it. Yeah. What okay. did Judas do with the money he received from the chief priests for betraying Jesus? Threw it back in the temple. Yes. All right, Correct. so we got to have this or it's a tie. Or it's, yeah. Okay. What's the first book in the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> Quote the next sentence of Jesus after he said, Woman, behold thy son. Um, son, behold thy mother. In, in it? Yeah, and then he was telling. It's going to be King James. Yeah. Right back in the... <laughs> son, behold, yeah, because he's talking to James. Yeah, was, to John. Yeah, John. Uh, behold, thy, uh, behold thy son. So, what, what, no. what did you say? 
Woman, behold thy son. And so, son, son behold, behold thy mother. mother. Yes. Son, behold thy mother. Yeah. Correct. Victory. Okay. We're down to the last questions. Oh, I thought that was it. No, you got one more each. I'm bad. Finish this saying of Jesus. No greater love hath no man than this. I heard, I heard a rumbling. We no greater it. love we hath no man it. than this. Mm-hmm. I count it. It says that a man lay down his life for his friends. Same thing. He said singular. It was plural. Wrong. No, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got to have this. Got to have it. The top. Finish okay. strong, guys. Home run, in, home run, home run. In which book is the following line attributed to God? I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Isn't it um, Isaiah? Well, no, I think it's uh, Romans. It's in Romans 9, but it goes back to Deuteronomy or Exodus. I will have compassion on him, I'll have compassion, I'll have mercy on him, I'll have mercy. I'm saying Exodus. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure. I would, I would just guess Isaiah, but nope. I don't think so. Mm -mm. No certainty there on that one. Is there more lifelines, or is that it? I don't know how. That's it. We've used them all. Oh. It's either Exodus, Deuteronomy, <laughs> or Romans. I'm saying Exodus. Okay. The card says Romans. Gosh! Oh! <laughs> that was a tough one. Yeah. They better get it, though. Well, well, listen. Wait a second. Romans is quoting Exodus. Ah, come on, come on. I just, I'm just going off the card. The card says Romans. One question for a tiebreaker. Okay. First one of us to raise our hand gets it. <laughs> After I finish reading the question. <laughs> um. Drum roll. Okay. Which prophet said, the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard? Andy? Jeremiah. No. Mm. <laughs> Do you one guys chance. have a guess? One chance. One chance. All right. Well, wow, that's a tough one. I just um, it. Correct. Ah! Who was it? Oh. <laughs> all right that was a lot of fun hey this is brother ben elliott you guys know him you love him and he is swinging through and he's going to come share a little about his ministry and he's going to preach to us tonight will that be all right so give ben a hand and welcome brother ben brother i don't know what to do you're good just talk it's on it's on oh, oh okay all right, so here you know what's coming, right? All right, so here you just know these three right here. It's Cristo, Gloria, La Victoria. Someone told me that some of the kids have been in Spanish class. So here we go. Yeah, I will. So just know them. And just say those three order. Cristo, Gloria, La Victoria. Ahí vamos. ¿Quién vive? Cristo. ¿Y a su nombre? ¿Y a sus hijos? Sharon, you better get this down, yeah? Or you're not coming on that. Just kidding. When you guys, when, the ones who come down with us, we'll be saying that like three times at least a day. Every time we get the vehicle, every time we get the church, every time we get back to the house. So here we go. Cristo, Gloria, La Victoria. ¿Quién vive? Cristo. ¿Y a su nombre? Gloria. ¿Y a sus hijos? Gloria. So translation, who, who lives? Christ. Jesus. To his children, uh, to him be the? Glory. And to his children be? Yeah, there we go. Woo! One of those cognates, sister. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go real quick to Luke 2.10. I'm definitely inspired by the, um, the decorations tonight, and I, the, the Holy Spirit definitely is confirming uh, His Word. Amen. For tonight. Um, I love Christmas. Anybody here? Amen. I, one thing I, I heard from an eschatologist that I, I follow, he said, I think that, you know, there's, a, there's people that don't, that... Grinches, they don't like Christmas and this and that. Of course, we all we always say every year we don't know when he was born, but we, the fact is that he was born. Amen. Amen. 
the virgin birth and all those things. And I, said, I think that some people are against it because really it's, it's the devil because he's, a, he's a jealous of all the lights. Amen? Amen. Woo! Of all the lights that shine for Christ. So um, Luke 2.10 one of those classic scriptures we, we share every year, amen, get us excited about the birth of Christ and just uh, all those emotions, all those feelings. And, and the exciting thing is, I, I know Pastor Randy, people like me, we, we don't just get excited about Christmas in December. We're excited about him every single day, amen. amen. Sometimes I, I honestly throw some Christmas uh, messages out there in July, to be honest. <laughs> it all goes together, right? It all is confirmed. So do not, uh, do not be afraid, for I behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. What kind of joy? Great joy. Which will to be to all people. So that we know the historical context. Uh, the Jews had been waiting for 400 years, amen, for that, the com- that coming Messiah. And what exciting, and later on, that the apostles would realize, okay, this good news is not just for the Jews, it's for everyone, amen. Even people in Zacatecas, amen. amen. I love that song we sing every year at VBS, right? I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down we do that when in Spanish, Spanish too. I make them shout, donde? En tu corazón. And, and the important thing is at the end of the song, right? Down in my heart, too? Same. Amen. Not just on Christmas and Thanksgiving and all those times, right? Amen. Who knows? Maybe they're trying to make all things, the kind of things illegal now. Maybe one day Christmas will be illegal, right? And that won't take away our joy, amen? Because it's in our heart. It's Him. It's Emmanuel, God with us. And not just eternally, amen, that we'll be with Him forever, amen, hallelujah, uh, in His presence in heaven with Jesus, Amen. We will be with Emmanuel, God, with us. We'll be with him forever, but he's with us now. Amen? Amen. He's our Savior, our healer, our best friend, our Lord, everything now. And that's the greatest joy this world has ever heard. And that's what that, those angels say, hey, great joy. Not just any message. This is a message of great joy. So first, uh, you know, our, our joy is the Lord. Amen? The joy of the Lord is our strength. There's your hand. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Where does depression enter, enter, enter there or, or suicidal thoughts or no? If we have Christ, the thing is we have to refill ourselves with that joy daily, right? The enemy, he's very, he knows how to, uh, to mess with our minds and mess with us, right? Amen. But we remind him who, who the, the joy of the Lord art is. Amen. It's not anything of this world. We never depend on people. We never depend on circumstances, anything but him. He's our joy. And daily, we need to get in the word. Amen. We need to fill ourselves in the Spirit with that joy, the presence of the Holy Spirit daily. And, and where is the enemy going to have any, any, any opportunity? No, none. Amen. He is our joy uh, at Christmas, New Year's. Amen. Back to work on Monday. <laughs> Every single day, because joy is, is a person. It's Christ inside us, with us forever. Amen. Um, the world is just a, like a roller coaster, right? You go to the, the, the amusement park. Amen. And... Um, Go up, come down, right? And that's just the way the world is. Happiness, they have their moments. We, they, we know they go party, but the next morning, <laughs> And not for us in Christ, we go through a trial, tribulation, anything in this, in this life, amen? And joy comes in the morning, amen? The woman, the, the woman amen, has her, has her difficult moment in that, in that moment giving birth, right? A very painful moment, but when that, when that baby is in her arms, amen? What a joyful moment for, for uh, Mary and Joseph, right? That they had that job. Wow. That task to raise the King of kings and Lord of lords. So not only is it the fact that Jesus came to them, was with them, amen, but they had, had him with him daily, and they had a task to do, the disciples and then every one of us, amen? So it's not, he doesn't just complete our joy by coming into our heart and and assuring us, reminding us with us daily that he loves us, that he has saved us, etc., etc. Amen. He gives us jobs to do. And he told his disciples that he was going to complete their joy. And so, you know, one of my my joy is doing what the Lord has called me to do when I was 11 years old, guys. I know there's future missionaries right here. Amen. Woo! Amen. Some of you guys need to come with us on second thickest. I'm just saying. Woo! Lord adios. Amen. The Lord called, called me when I was 11 years old, you know. And obviously, yes, it's a great joy, not just any joy. This is my passion, serving the Lord. Amen. Um, but do I, is my joy uh, the ministry? No. Is my joy the church? No. Is my joy the, the wife, the family? No. Because what, one day 
one of those things, those things that I might not have them, right? But the foundation can never be that, right? The foundation is him. The joy is him, is Christ. But of course, doing those things, we won't complete our joy, our passion in the Lord until we're flowing in those spiritual giftings. Amen. We just went through the spiritual gifts with our brand new people down there in Zacatecas. We did one of those uh, those gifts, uh, those tests you can take on spiritualgiftstest.com uh, or whatever. Amen. It's just so exciting when people, wow, it does make sense. The Lord has made me how he has made me because he has plans for my life. Amen. It just goes right to right there together with what um, the talents that we have. And the Lord just confirms that. And, and we step into those things. Our joy is complete. When we step away, obviously not. Right. But when we're involved, we're in contributing our spiritual gifts. And another thing, as, as, as the body of Christ, it's our joy to help one another. Right. Amen. It's our joy to serve one another. In fact, uh, um, uh, a triumph, a, a praise report, a testimony in, in the church, of course, we all celebrate that, right? right. Like the lady that lost the, the drachma, the, the, the coin, had been looking for everywhere high and low and then finds it. They got excited. There was a party. She invited her neighbors. They celebrated. Instead of being jealous and mad or whatever, no, they celebrated that she found that lost coin, right? Of course, there's, there's party in heaven when one sinner repents. Amen? Hallelujah. But our, our brother, our sister's joy, uh, their testimony is our joy. Their pain is our, is our pain. Amen. We're supposed to carry one another's burdens. Is that, can that be joyful? Yes, because it's our duty. Amen. To love one another. Amen. Um, it may be painful, but obviously it's, it's our job and, 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 uh, it's our joy to pray for our brother or sister, help out our brother and sister. And, um, and that's why we need each other as well. Amen. He does that for us every day, amen. He he's uh, um he's looking for us, amen. He sends us a, a new sunrise every morning, amen. Freshly painted by the painter of the sky, amen. Um, I love how um, Hebrews twelve two talks about his joy for us. He says, "Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross." Uh, it's like um, be crucified. That was joyful. Um, maybe the Christmas story and all that stuff, but. Um, Going to the cross, uh, <laughs> that's what the word says. And I don't think it was so much the suffering and all that pain he was going to go through. I think it was me and you, amen, every one of us, that we're going to be with him once he paid for our penalty on the cross, that we're going to be able to be with him forever, amen? And not just forever, but now, amen? And I love how Zephaniah 3.17 says, He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. So he's, he's, uh, you know, he's, uh, check that what he's saying, it's saying there. He's, he dances in, in, in expectation for us. Talking about that tambourine dancer, right? Yeah. He dances in think, in thinking about us, um, uh, look, searching for him this day, spending time with our quiet time. Amen. Seeking him, uh, this day. He sings prophetic, poetic songs over us. That's, that's how much he loves each one of us. He's given us a special identity and his joy is completed. His joy is completed through us. You ever thought about that? Woo! That makes me excited that he's thinking about me. He's in expectation waiting for me to give this morning. Seek him, him his first and uh, his kingdom and his rightness and all these things, which is him. He's everything will be added unto me this day. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to Dios. So um, I, I just encourage you with that. You know, joy, again, joy is, isn't the actual, uh, the serving in itself. Because New Year comes, a lot of times the Lord transitions a lot of our uh, our ministries, Right? We need to live by the Spirit, and He gives us always a fresh direction, and we want to be in that, always be in the will of the Father. Amen? Amen. When they came back and all those demons were subject to His name and people were healed and all that, hey, remember that your joy is is not that. Praise the Lord for that. His kingdom um, being increased and the Lord using you. Our joy is that our names are written (laughs) in the book of the life, uh, the Lamb of Life. And speaking of of joy, uh, you know, just like the shepherds, they, they got this message in verse 20. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. With passion, they went out, right, and shared the good news. He, he's here after all these years. All the the prophets said, everything grandma and grandpa said, finally here. We saw him, we, angels, this and that. And uh, obviously, we, can, we should go out. That's, that's our, our job as a church, right? Therefore, and, um, and, and, and preach the gospel to every creature. And with that passion and joy, those of us who have encountered Christ and have that joy inside us, we all have a testimony and something special and powerful to share. It's Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
We all have our own specific testimonies. I love how Psalm says that I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous works. Amen. The enemy wants us quiet. He's used the pandemic to try to divide us and this and that and stop so many things. But we know that uh, his voice will always be heard. Amen. Uh, I want to tell you guys a, a few of uh, the things with joy for me to share with you about um, that the Lord has been uh, doing in Zacatecas and you've been partnered with, you've been a part of. Um, I want to go back first to last uh, two years ago, the, the dedication. I think last year when I came in April, we shared the video, right, of the, the kind of the, uh, the construction of the church. We started from the ground up, um, getting that thing dedicated uh, three weeks before the pandemic and, and the government shutting down all the churches and all that. Um, that's a testimony in itself. Amen. This last January, uh, I may have mentioned last time we were here, we purchased the building right next door um, that we had been renting. I just, I just believe God. I asked God and uh, prayer, effective prayer, prayer of the righteous man, availeth much. Amen. I just believe God. I really felt the Holy Spirit was impressing me that as far as joy goes, he said, hey, I'm going to compete your joy and, uh, and you're going to get this building. Amen. I just really believe God that it was time because, you know, we were renting with him and uh, uh, with this landlord. And that was the place we had started the church in. So um, I just feel the Holy Spirit was saying, hey, be bold and ask, ask the landlord if he'll sell it. And sure enough, they needed some money to buy us a house in Zacateca City and this, that. And, and so, um, yeah. So we first we remodeled the first floor. That's done. The kitchen's done. Uh, we'll, I'll talk about that in a second. And then this next project, uh, after right about after when we were here in April, uh, the next project was to uh, build the classrooms on the second floor. We just finished with that. Amen? They're finishing the baños. Need that always, right? Amen? <laughs> Even got showers. If you have, have to overflow, have teams over there. They're still installing showers over there. Um, so just this uh, two weeks ago, we had our first class ever in those classrooms. The kids are just excited. Our kids, our youth. Um, for this last year, we were, they were, we were sending them, to, the youth, to our house. Mi casa que tu casa. Uh, they would go back to our house, back to downtown. And we would have our kids and, and the adults at the church. We didn't have a place for the, the, the youth. So, um, hey, you guys should be thankful you have a, a, a church building. Most places in the third world, we meet under trees or uh, last, uh, yeah, remember Pastor, Pastor Rainey last time and we were still met in the van? Yeah. <laughs> so that's another accomplishment I share with joy, uh, sh- joyfully share with you about that you've been a part, a part of, you were a big part of that, of that construction. Thank you, Wadesh. Thank you. And I, and I, I speak for the church down there in La Casa Mi Padre, my father's house, Jerez, they always also send their, send their, their gratitude, their gracias. Amen. Um, the, 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 the soup kitchen feeding center has, has, has been uh, uh, inaugurated, has began in the month of uh, uh, October. We've done two. We did one last one on Monday. Yeah. And um, so um, the, the plan with that uh, ministry is that we'll get them there, just like you guys do. We share the gospel, of course, give them the most important uh, meal, which is their spiritual. Amen. Um, hear the good news. Amen. Um, so it's been going on two months. The Lord has provided uh, all everything we needed for that. All the utensils, pots and pans, you name it. The refrigerator, the stove, some anonymous uh, donor. Thank you to whoever you are. Also anonymously donated for a commercial stove. That's a whole other praise report <laughs> to how we got that thing down there. Woo! But the team's going to be able to see some pictures. I'm going to go actually going to go to go down there and see that thing. So um, we're looking forward to making some tamales. Woo! For it, Navidad, Feliz Navidad. Hey, one of wants to come down and help with that. Get hooked up. Woo-hoo! <laughs> um, so that, uh, that's on. Um, as far as other um, uh, things, uh, missions continue to be uh, steady. The one we have in the mountains, one of the things that I wanted to see happen um, is that one of my assistants would take over uh, as an assistant um, up in the mountains because it's two and a half hours away. Uh, where he could take over the church on Saturdays, off Saturdays. I go one Saturday and one Saturday I don't. Um, and then he would watch the church on Saturdays and also uh, also um, have a vehicle to go to one of them that's another hour away. So it's two and a half hours from Jerez, um, uh, the, the dirt roads and the potholes and this. <laughs> so it's, it's always a, it's a long day. You get back late and then we have Sunday morning service. So <laughs> you can understand what I'm saying. That's why we go every other uh, um, Saturday. The gas and all that good stuff. But yes, yeah, so that's a prayer report. I've got an old, uh, one of our old safaris up there. Um, it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's, he's taking it to a village that's an hour farther away from there. So 
With joy, I share those things. Why? Because you're a, you're a part of that. And all those things that we envision, we just believe God for. Like that specific Second Timothy 2-2 mountain mission to happen to make, make disciples that will make other disciples. Is all that stuff is happening. So, and you guys are, you guys have stood with us from the beginning and just believed with us. So, uh, um, that's good stuff. We just started another village and I was telling the, the church about it, but it, I'm not going to get in the story, but it's, um, right down the mountain from, uh, Palmira. And it's one thing that was really exciting for me this Saturday was that, um, these two little girls had been faithful. We just started going there in July and, uh, they brought their Bibles. They saw us and then they, we'll be right back. And I was like, well, come, come, come soon because we're not going to be very long. And they came back with their, their Biblias and that's rare. Super rare down there that people will actually bring their Biblias, their Bibles. And so, yeah, I just, that kind of stuff gets me excited because uh, the Lord is working. Amen. The seeds are being planted in soil. Um, always give thanks. First Thessalonians 5, 5, 16 to 18. I think we all know the scriptures, right? Amen. I asked Pastor Andy if I could put it up in Spanish because we're going to sing a song. It's a song we do uh, with the kids and with adults, kids of all ages. Amen. Uh, zero to, to 100 or whatever, right? Um, so it's up there on the screen. Um, we're going to practice our Espanol, and we're going to sing this song, right? Obviously, it's all about being thankful at all times, right? Always be joyful in the Lord. Amen? The joy of the Lord is our strength. So let's, let's, let's uh, do our best effort. Amen? With joy and passion, let's sing this song. Amen? How many are with me? Yeah. Woo! Gloria a Dios. ¿Quién vive? Cristo. Okay. So, um, ahí va. Um, está siempre gozosos, orad sin cesar. Go ahead and, uh, dear, and, and go ahead and join me. Está siempre gozosos, orad sin cesar. Da gracias en todo, porque es la voluntad de Dios para con vosotros en Cristo Jesús. De Dios para con vosotros en Cristo Jesús. Okay, here we go. This will be the, this will be the, this time will be better, right? Ready? Here we go. Está siempre gozosos, orar sin cesar. Está siempre gozosos, orar sin cesar. Dar gracias en todo, porque es la voluntad de Dios para con vosotros en Cristo Jesús. De Dios para con vosotros en Cristo. One more time. Está siempre gozosos, orar sin cesar. Estar siempre gozosos, orar sin cesar, da gracias en todo, porque es la voluntad de Dios para con vosotros en Cristo Jesús. De Dios para con vosotros en Cristo Jesús. Amén. <laughs> Give yourself a hand clap. I love how the end of it is just leaves it so clear. This is the, this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. That's his will for us to be thankful always. And we just came, I know we just got through Thanksgiving, but, uh, and, and we're going to have be thankful in, in Christmas. Amen. Amen. Gift or no gift, right? Yeah. Family visits from California or not, we're thankful, right? Yes. No matter what, hot chocolate or no, right? <laughs> Tamales, <laughs> gloria a Dios. But we know that's God's will. That's what he wants to always be positive and be thankful. He always want, he always, he's always checking our heart, right? Amen. We know how that went for the Israelites when they were always murmuring and planning. When Apostle Paul leaves it clear, he'd do everything without complaining. Amen. We know that all that does is invite death and destruction. And that's exactly what happened to those folks. God and Moses were really patient with those people. Man, I mean, God, I mean, Moses had to calm God down <laughs> a few times, right? And sadly, we see that, we see that example. Yeah, I'm just going to go with one, with one scripture. You know, uh, the Apostle Paul, there's, if there was hope for them, for him, I think there's a, a hope for any of us that sometimes struggle with that. Amen. I, I, one of the guys at the church has said, I've, I've never seen Pastor Benjamin get mad. I'm like, well, I guess you haven't seen that. <laughs> haven't seen me. <that. laughs> always, right? Um, but uh, for, uh, Philippians 4, you know, he says, I rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. I think the again is not just Sunday and Wednesdays, right? It's that again is when we're past, going through a top, tough time, maybe lost a loved one, we're having maybe pain in our body, maybe just whatever, having a lousy whatever, right? I think that again, I say rejoice are those moments, right? Where if we're really going to get with God and be filled with the Holy Spirit and be able to show a Christian like attitude, a Christ like attitude. That's positive and joyful and thankful. I think those are those moments he's talking about as far as rejoice. 
Because it's, it goes back to in Christ. If, it's in, if I'm in Christ, uh, it's the Lord. It's the person of the Lord. But he says in verse 11, Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. That's hope for you. That's hope for me. If he, if he would learn, because like John Maxwell said once, the man that's not teachable is not a man of God. We all have to be teachable, right? And I think the Apostle Paul has recognized, hey, you guys didn't know me before. I was a Pharisee of Pharisees, people. I had my titles and this and that. And now I threw all that away to the trash can to have Christ. Amen? Amen. Obviously, that was probably him. He learned. God can teach you. God can teach any of us in that area if you're willing to allow the Holy Spirit to help us, right? To change our heart and make us more positive. He says, I know how to be abased. I know how to abound. Everything, everywhere, in all things I've learned. Again, both to be full and to hungry, both and abound to suffer need. So I don't think that um, uh, Apostle Paul was any was a beggar by any means. How many mean? I don't think he was any kind of a beggar. I think that there was moments where he was uh, he, he would sell tents to take care of to finance his ministry. Right? I mean, it wasn't free to go on those on those uh, boat rides all across those islands and and here and there. Right? He took care of himself. Right? But he celebrates when the churches would take up offerings for all that kind of stuff. But I think that he's, he's telling us, hey, there was moments of plenty. There was moments of abundance. There was many, but there was also uh, other hard times of a lot of need. And it always brought him back to his knees. Amen. All his brought him back to prayer. Always bought, brought him back to his complete and total dependence on Christ. So we could never uh, trust in, okay, I'm so glad every time I sell these tents and I never have to worry about anything. I mean, he's trying to, hey, hey, there's apartments I had. It was tough. There was hard, hard times. Amen. The just shall live by faith. Well, sometimes, obviously, faith is not seeing the, having it right there, right? So he, he, you know, he, he, he was able to learn through that. God was able to teach him through that. Um, you know, I, I think that a lot of us, I, I personally will say myself, um, in the, in the, the pandemic, the whole mask and all that stuff, there were some, some moments where this servant uh, had a bad attitude. Oh, I had to learn to have a good attitude. Amen? Yeah. I didn't like the mask, and I don't like the mask today. Amen? Amen? Yeah. So, uh, well, Vegas, you know, they do still require the mask and all that stuff. is annoying, but I, that's why I go to all the mom-and-pop shops where they just have to sign up, but they don't enforce it. No. <laughs> but the point is that also with the schools, you know, they were shut. We were one of three nations in the world where they didn't open the schools again. I mean, that was that's just embarrassing to even say that, that Mexico wouldn't even try to open the schools up. One of three nations in the world. This guy, I, it wasn't my kids. It was me. I, I admit, I confess, I had a bad attitude about that for a while. And I was not happy with the fact that they wouldn't even try to open the schools. Do the mask, do the gel, do the protocols, do the spacing, do whatever you want. But the kids want to be back with the kids with their teachers for crying out loud. Well, but I, I realized that there was, it, had, it was me. My kids never said one word about it. I missed taking them to school. I missed meeting, meeting, seeing the other parents. I missed all those social interactions. I missed everything about it. Amen? And just recently, my, my daughter got to start going back to a school in Jerez, and it was just so awesome to be back, and I'm like so thankful. Woo! Praise the Lord. But during the time, there were some moments that there wasn't good attitudes. And I had to learn. I had to ask the Holy Spirit to forgive me, the Lord to forgive me, for having the bad attitude about it. Get back to praying and blessing the leaders, whoever's in charge of making those decisions. Okay, Lord, I know you've called me as a son of Abraham to be a blessing. And so I'm sorry for not being a blessing and blessing those people. I have no idea why they won't even try, but I'll stop complaining about it. Amen. I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to bless them. And obviously, I'm going to continue to ask for the, the schools open in Jesus' name. I'm going to continue asking for that. But the joy is Christ, and bad attitudes are not, are not, are not good. Amen? Amen? The Lord wants us to have a good attitude, whether it's Biden or whatever it is. Amen? Right. got to bless those people. <laughs> you got to pray for those people. No murmuring or complaining, because we know that doesn't help. And only uh, We should focus on the positives. Recently, um, I, I, I was going, I've been going through a, um, uh, issue with my health. And this is the last thing I'm going to mention on this, but, um, the Lord also has had to work with me recently. Um, I may have shared with you before that the Lord had healed me of gout arthritis. Um, 20, for between 2010 and 2014, uh, I suffered gout arthritis attacks where that uric acid will just go up on uh, joints mainly. For me, it was in my right, uh, right foot and different, uh, joints and on my left knee. 
That was uh, four years of, of suffering and pain. The only thing would take that thing down, obviously the blood of Christ, but in this case would be the steroid shots. Nothing else would, would get rid of it, and just painful, painful mo- time in my history. And, but part of my testimony, and I've shared it for seven years, that the Lord healed me, and I don't doubt that he did that. Amen. We know that doubt is not the Lord. We know who the doubt comes from. Amen. And, and uh, through this testimony, through this agony and suffering I, I went through, I've realized that the Lord has blessed a lot of people as I share that testimony. Because that some of them have went through similar things, or in the moment, they're going through something like that. Amen? Amen. Whether it's arthritis or whatever pain in their body, the, the blood of Christ. Amen? Hallelujah? Woo! By His blood stripes we are. That's a promise. I, I believe His promises are yes and amen for the glory of God. So anyway, uh, what happens in August, I got hit with one again. And we're talking seven years. Ow! <laughs> sure enough, I went and did the lab work. Yep, the uric acid levels were off the chart, way above where they're supposed to be. So what does that mean? Back to the pill, you know? Back to taking this pill doesn't mean that I don't trust in the Lord. I'm just trying to be wise, right? Like Pastor Andy said, hey, Lord, use those doctors. Thanks for the medicine. And so I recognize God on that as well. What, there, there's, the, there's the decision, right? Do I complain and say, God, what's, what? I thought you say, I thought you healed me. Seven years, what's, what's up with that? Why suddenly I, aren't, aren't I am, are serving you? Aren't I being a good Christian? Aren't I your good son? I thought you'd love. We can do all that stuff and it's just a waste of time. Amen. Or we can say, Lord, thank you for those seven years of freedom in Jesus name. Thank you that you did heal me that time. Amen. Thank you that you allowed me to go back to running because the doctor had said, you're never going to run again. You're just going to be on the bike. And I just never, I never received that. Every time I come here with the McBrides, woo, they let me go back in this track and it's great. Amen. By the way, you need to go to their house sometime, but just bring a potluck dish, and the sister says, right? To become a member of White you have to go to that house, by the way. It's a new rule. Just kidding. For 2022. Glory <laughs> Dios. But you know, God had the final word. Amen. The doctor Jesus, he allowed me to go back to running. It's one of my joys, and he completes our joy. We delight in him, he delights in us, and he just grants us the desires of our hearts. Amen. So um, obviously I could be mad about that. I could be frustrated by that. Or I could just say, Lord, thank you that I do have legs. Yes. So many people that don't even have legs. Yes. Hey, thank you that I am allowed to walk again. Yes. And thank you that there's that pill I can take. I, I could even say that. Now, am I going to believe that uh, he's going to heal me? Of uh, Yes, I do. And I, do I believe that it was complete uh, seven years ago? Yes, I do. God doesn't make any mistakes. Amen. Um. So, um, you know what? It's, it's just, it's really a, a choice, but at the same time, it isn't because if I, it's, if I receive the joy of the Lord daily, then I won't be susceptible to the enemy to be depressed or get angry or have another reaction because I should be filling my heart with his presence, with his goodness, right? And if I'm controlled by the Holy Spirit, those fruits are going to show up like self-control and not just joy. Amen. They're going to complete each other and we're going to be able to respond in a more spiritual, uh, thankful, uh, positive manner to these these trials and tribulations that obviously the Lord is doing something. He's producing character in my life. For There's a reason why he's allowing this trial in my life for something. Maybe I don't know right now, but later on, maybe I will, right? Lord, I understand why you allow, allow that to happen. Last thing, um, you know, um, always shine. We always should shine our light. Amen. This joy we have that the, those shepherds went out to share and, and then Mary and Joseph and then the disciples and us today should be contagious. They should see that smile on our faces. One thing, speaking of the schools, I remember uh, one of the th- first things that Adasa's uh, first grade teacher, because I mean, it's rare to run into any evangelical Christians down there. And I think I've told you that before. That teacher could immediately pinpoint my daughter. And she said, are you one of those uh, evangelical Christian uh, separated brother people uh, they say they're Christians or something like that I say yeah I said in fact I'm a pastor and it was so cool because she promised that one day she would go to church and like three day, three years later years after she was with us as teacher she finally showed up Woo! amen but the point in thing is that they should see our, that, that light it should it, it should be very visible and evident amen even the bugs are attracted to light right and even they die in the summertime right <laughs> Amen. That light that we shine in the darkness should be show bright. I mean, we are, he he gave us that in faith, that even on that commandment. 
Uh, you are the light of the world. Amen? He's the light, and he, now he wants to shine through us. They should, that joy that we, we, that we have, the joy of the Lord's our strength, should definitely be evident by the way we, we talk and the way we act and the way we smile. Amen? What happened to our smiles again? Amen? Hallelujah. Now, take off that mask off. We can finally see the smile again, right? Even that, the Lord said, you know what? Stop complaining about, because I miss to be able to see people's smiles and stuff like that in the stores. Because I'm always trying to uh, pray in the Spirit, uh, Lord, give me opportunity, right? We'll go to Walmart. It could not, it, it, we can see Walmart as, okay, I've got to go there to get uh, 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 milk and eggs. Or we can see it as, Lord, I, rec- I recognize that you're, you're calling me to Walmart right day. I'm an ambassador of, of Christ to Walmart right now. It's not just a physical act of going the, uh, the uh, go do the errand, right? You have me here for a purpose. I want to shine my light. And that's like, oh, look, I remember, I just remember to be able to actually see people's reactions and maybe they can see my, my smile and, and maybe something through that, right? And the Lord said, hey, but pray for them. Pray in the spirit. And so I was like, okay, Lord, I repent of those bad attitudes too, that the mask was uh, detaining me able to be able to see people's faces. Amen. <laughs> I'm just getting real with, real with people today, Brother Andy. I mean, <laughs> hallelujah. And by the way, there's no mask of the church, sister. We have, you can bring that smile. Sister Sharon has got the love of Jesus. Amen. She's got the smile. That's a contagious smile. The real reason for, for our smile is that we have the joy of the Lord. Amen. So smile because Jesus loves you, right? I remember once, I, 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 youth, I, I worked at two coffee shops when I was in college. And um, I had, I'll admit it, I had blue, blue hair back. That was... That was a long time ago, okay? <laughs> that was another, another lifetime. No, 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 kid. <laughs> but, um, and it was only like two months, don't worry. But they would come in and they would, uh, hey, um, they would, you know, order their coffees and they're sometimes, hey, what, are, what did you get or what do you want? I'm, no, I didn't have anything. I was like, no, but you, you're like really wired and really uh, energetic and you, you had to have something from this menu. Tell me what it was. No. Are you on drugs or something? No. <laughs> I have Jesus, and I'm so excited. I didn't drink any of the coffees, any of the, I was a barista, right? No, I had, I had Jesus and to share. And that, that, and that sometimes can be a, a way for people to, to ask you, why are you so joyful, right? Why are you so positive so, uh, uh, all the time? There's, we're going to have our moments, right? We're all going to have our moments. That's what I'm telling you. When we get back to, the, to that joy, which is the person, which is Jesus, amen? So whatever it is the Lord has you for the end of this year, amen, whatever he has for you for 2022, just get excited about being in his spirit, being with him, and it's going to be exciting whatever it is. There'll be roads, uh, difficult roads across, and obstacles are obviously going to, are going to come on the way because he tests our faith and he wants to make sure that we're, that we, we're doing it for the right reasons and that we're, that we're definitely focusing on him, the author and finisher of our faith, keeping our eyes on Christ through every, every step of the way, amen. Uh, brother, that's all I have. I have. I just want to share some joy up in here this morning. Uh, I, just, I keep saying this morning. It just feels <laughs> afternoon. So um, I enjoy, enjoy doing the song. Amen. So we got to do those three. Pastor Andy's coming up. Uh, the, the Cristo, Gloria, La Victoria. I seriously, again, ask if anyone wants, uh, it's not too late. Uh, brother John says the last chance is January 2nd on the next uh, uh, team meeting. We really would love you to have come, speaking of that joy, to come share that some of that joy you have with our people. Amen. So here we go. Cristo, Gloria, la Victoria. ¿Quién vive? Cristo. Y a su nombre. Gloria. Y a sus hijos. Eso. Pastor Andy, gracias, hermano. Woo! How about it for Love Brother Ben, guys? Amen. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Ben. Don't go anywhere. Ah, okay. No way. Hey, a uh, couple quick things. So a while back, Ben had um, asked, he started this food ministry and so, um, hope we're, we're going to include him in next year's budget to support his food ministry Thank monthly. You. Thank you. Say amen. amen. And then on, on Sunday, we took an, we took an offering up for you because you said, Hey, he, he texted me a while back and he's like, uh, he said, so when does this monthly support start? Cause I'm out of money for food. <laughs> and I was like, well, I know people with money. And so, um, <laughs> Anyway, Thank we took you. up an offering on Sunday morning, yeah. but we, here's my deal is I got so fired up on, about praying on Sunday during 11 o'clock, I didn't take up the offering. So we'll, at 11 o'clock service Sunday, we're going to offer that. But nine o'clock, they, they raised you a thousand dollars. So uh, yeah, that's awesome. Amen. And so uh, praise Pastor, the Lord can for I just that. Say that um, 
There's nobody else in Jerez that offers that. We're the, uh, we're the first and the only um, soup kitchen. There's so many hungry people. Tell me about out of work right now. And so, again, you're feeling a lot of bell- bellies and warm a lot of hearts. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. So sit right here. And um, I, I think, you know, the, the Romans says how beautiful are the feet of those who prepare who preach the gospel. Ben, I think you have beautiful feet. And I thank God for your spirit. I thank God for the joy that you bring. Um, Roland and Vicky have not seen that much energy in their house in a long time. <laughs> and um, anyway, we love, I, for me, he's got a zeal for life. He's got a zeal for the ministry. He's got a zeal for Jesus. And man, he's a little bit contagious. And so um, we're going to pray over you tonight as we close out this service. Hey, we gather around people. Is that okay with you? So if y'all just want to come up and we'll just gather around Ben and we'll pray God's blessings over him and over his ministry and then we'll dismiss that way. Would that be okay? So Ben, you are heading... Really to a whole other mission field tomorrow, you're heading to Mississippi. Um, and then you're heading to God's country, Texas, and then down to Mexico. And so, Ben, we're thankful to have you, buddy. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this man. We thank you, God, for saving his soul and for doing what you've done through him. God, we're, we, we pray, Lord, for him tonight. I pray, God, that you would help him to continue to keep the excitement and energy he has for the good things of God. Thank you, Lord, for the joy that he brought into this room. Thank you for the excitement and the energy that he has. God, as he begins his journey um, south tomorrow home, I pray, dear God, Lord, your hedge over his vehicle. I pray, dear God, Lord, you protect him as he travels. I pray, dear God, that you look after him, help him to get back to his family safely. God, tonight, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you would continue to use him to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pray, dear God, Lord, as he sows seed, may he see the fruit of his sowing. I pray that he would see many people come to a knowing salvation in Christ Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would use him to burn his light bright. I pray, dear God, Lord, that you would bless his ministry in every way, financially, physically, spiritually. I pray that you would grow him, that you would prosper him. I pray, dear God, Lord, that every place that his feet trod. May you grant that territory to him. I pray, dear God, Lord, that you'd overwhelm him. And I pray, God, that you'd bring up armor bearers beside him to assist him and help him. I pray that he, God, doesn't get burnt out. I pray, Lord, that you would just encourage him. Bring um, Joshua's and Caleb's up, Lord, to encourage him and give him zeal. Lord, I pray, dear God, for his family. I pray for Deanna and Hadassah and Nimi and Shalom. I pray, dear God, Lord, that you'd be with them. Watch over them. Protect them spiritually. I pray, dear Lord, for our uh, our sister church there in Zacatecas. We pray, dear God, we thank you for that structure that's there. Thank you, Lord, that they're no longer meeting under a big tree. Thank you, God, that they have walls and carpet. Uh, Lord, I pray for this food ministry that he's about to be, that he's beginning. Pray, God, that you'd bless that. You'd open up that. Let that be seeds of opportunity for him to share the gospel. And Lord, we thank you for letting him come through. Thank you, God, for letting him share the good news. Thank you for letting us be part of it, God. Lord, whether it be financially, whether you prepare us to go down there, how, whether we're praying, thank you for letting us be, be part of it. Thank you, Lord, that you're not just a Southern Illinois God, but you're a worldwide God. <laughs> that, Lord, that you can touch the foundations of the earth wherever you are. And Lord, we thank you for being Lord over everywhere and everything at all time. We give you the praise, honor, and glory, and we ask it all in the mighty name of Jesus, and we all agree together and said, Amen. 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 God bless you all. Thank you for coming tonight. Give Ben a handshake, a hug, whatever you want.